Welcome to Junk Journal July Day 14. Day 14 is weather. And I think that I am on a roll. I said yesterday that that one, the light was easy. And the weather to me was very simple because I immediately went to weather, God, Jesus. Oh, when Jesus calmed the storm, right? So this is day 14 and I've decided today's very simple and I basically already did it. Uh, I am loving sharing my faith, sharing God's word with people every day. I'm just realizing it's actually a lot of work to create a video every day, not creating the page and doing the Bible study. That's the easy part. It's creating the video because I have to record the video. I have to edit the video. I have to upload the video. I love it because God has given me this opportunity to share my faith and this is my ministry. So today, weather, and let's just put that right on there. For me was Mark, where Jesus calmed the storm, right? Let's put weather on there. Let's stick that on the page. And I'm going to read you Mark 4. We're going to start at 35. That day, when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along, just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat, so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Actually, in the ESV, it says, Peace, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. And he said to the disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Isn't that so much like us? Don't you feel that? They were with Jesus and didn't get him. They didn't get who he was, why he was here. They heard everything, but they didn't really get it. I think that happens um, once you become a Christian. You, you think you get who Jesus is, but if you don't spend the time and energy reading God's word and, and just immersing yourself in his word, you, you probably won't get who Jesus was. I wrote a couple notes about the importance of this passage on the back. This is what I wanna take away today. Jesus brings peace to a stormy sea, peace to his disciples, and he shows that he has the power over nature, power over fear, power over any problem. When Jesus is in control of our lives, we have nothing to worry about or fear because Jesus is in control. That's what this whole section of Mark was about, that they thought that they were still um, going to be at the whim of the weather, right? If the weather comes up, and, and you have to understand why the, the wind was so powerful there. In my um, application in the study commentary, it says, the Sea of Galilee is 680 feet below sea level and is surrounded by hills. I've actually been there. Yes, it is. Winds blowing across the land intensify close to the sea, often causing violent and unexpected storms. The disciples were seasoned fishermen who had spent their lives fishing on this huge lake, but during this squall, they panicked. They panicked because the storm threatened to destroy them all, and Jesus seemed unaware and unconcerned. Theirs was a physical storm, but storms come in other forms. Think about the storms in your life. This is the application I'm going to leave you with. Think about the storms in your life, the situations that cause you great anxiety. Whatever your difficulty, you have two options. You can worry and assume that Jesus no longer cares about you, or you can resist fear, putting your trust in him. When you feel like panicking, confess your need for God and then trust him 
to care for you. I hope that that gives you a sense of peace today, and I am going to close with Deuteronomy 31.8. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Blessings. See you tomorrow.